welcome back guys in this edition we are going to see how to draw a roof plan for our, for our project or for the project we are working on and to begin with you know the first thing you are supposed to do you are supposed to create a layer after creating your layer you assign color to it and the rest i've already done that as you can see i've created a roof layer and the thickness is 0.3 mm so to begin with you pick your polyline command click on it is active you you draw your line around the whole perimeter of the house um, have it like this if it is in revit revit it will just be like two click away and you have your roof autocad it's a little bit basic <coughs> excuse me it requires more let's have this like this so let's come and draw this to this so the next thing we have to, we have to fillet our edge to, to join them so say fillet we pick this and this and it's joined so i think let's see you would observe that the moment why we are even using polyline some might decide to use line but polyline will just enable you to pick it at once as you can see that so i can just like move and copy it and have it exactly like this so this is just my roof the whole building the perimeter of the whole building around so the next thing you're supposed to do is to remove your roof extension usually 600 depends on you uh, i would like to use 600 so we have to offset this i can click on this then o offset 600 yeah. so i click on it so i have it like this so this is now my roof the one that is highlighted is my roof so i can say escape so i have to draw my roof lines so to do that i usually like to pick my line outside so i click on it so sorry maybe let's have it again click on it have it like this then maybe say 5000 then tap give it an angle of 45 degrees that's that's the angle we are supposed to use so i like to mirror everything so that i'll have all the angles that I need to use. I can say mirror again. Enter. Let's have it like this. So with this, I can just keep. Just I have to off my orthogonal so I'm able to ensure it's going to the edges. So I think that is the only edge that needs that one. And decide to still pick this and say copy put it on this edge edge but on that edge I think that's all so we need this one so we say copy it have it like this like this and I think let's see this copy so we have it like this Okay, we're supposed to have something like this coming in this direction so let's see how it goes let's try to extend our lines so let's have this this so let's trim off that see how our work goes so we have this are we following so this so we can see we have this this is gone okay 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 let's carefully observe our roof is it coming out so let's see there's an edge here there's an edge here so we're also supposed to consider our roof edges so we say copy so click it yes so okay, i can decide to just copy this copy and i have this on this edge so i can trim off too our roof is still forming so i have this so what else what else okay there's another edge i can decide to copy this and bring it to this point so i have that so with this i can pick my straight line ensure my orthogonal is selected pick it and join it okay so i can have this this line coming like this let's have it to this point let's see Okay, let's extend extend this to this 
okay 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 so we can just okay pick our line draw this to this so let's see let's trim off okay our move is gradually shaping up and as you can see it's a heat proof so this is what it is technically we are true with our roof edge roof lines and what we have here is is a heat proof but i wouldn't want us to consider a heat proof because we've actually done that we can delete this done that in previous tutorial let's see let's even see how this will look on our building let's block it first i told you how to block component so we say bl we say block let's label it rf rf okay so you see it's acting as one component so let's see let me click on it then i'll say copy let's see how it's going to look on our building so let's have this like this so we have it so you can see it yourself that's not what we want i think i wouldn't want us to have a hip roof let's see another hip roof let's let's see a dutch roof a dutch roof in autocad say so let's copy it out like this so dutch roof is actually a combination of your hip roof and your your gravel end so let's quickly do that let's have a line here to do a dutch roof if you've seen my auto um, my Revit tutorial on roofs you must have seen this so you say let's okay move this before that let's try to measure this let's know what it is okay 5102 so let's move this about let's say let's get this midpoint yeah let's move it about let's say four two three zero let's have a line let's have it like that so let's trim off let's trim off so let's trim off let's trim off this and this this okay it's not trimming off don't know why okay stay acting as a block sorry that's amazing we need to explode it to explode explode it so i think you should be able to trim up now so let's say trim 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 and let's extend this to this yes we have that edge let's see this too you have to measure to know what you are setting if it's in revit you have to keep that in mind this is about two six two eight so two six two eight two six two eight let's have a okay we've explored that so we can okay that one is still let's pick this draw our line have it here so let's click on it and we are moving it we have two six something in see let's move this let's say one eight three let's say one eight five seven let's see how it's going to form if it didn't work we'll change it we'll have trim we'll see okay Trim this, trim this, trim this. We are trimming, trimming. So we, we, we sh hold on our shift. We extend to that point. So I think we are coming up. So we can delete this. So let's see what next. I think here we offsetted. We moved about four to three nine. Let's also move in this direction by that amount. Let's have this line like this. So let's see hold it move let's select let's move by that amount four two three nine have it like this so we trim off so this 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 so let's extend this so our dodge group is fast for me so the next thing we're supposed to do is this edge the dodge on this edge so let's quickly form our line let's draw our line so we have this like this so we say click on it we say move so we have here we move we've not measured so we don't know what we are even moving to so let's see okay three zero three eight so let's have it let's move it let's see 
let's move it in this direction let's say two one six one let's have it so let's trim so we have it like this so let's escape let's say extend so guys in this edition i've already shown you how to draw two roof types the hip and the dodge for the same building so but i think we would like to consider this because we've seen something that has to do with this in our previous tutorials so we'll be doing this in this particular tutorial i just use this opportunity to show you that you can still actually use a hip roof for your design but in this tutorial let's consider a dodge roof instead instead of the usual hip roof so guys in the next section of this tutorial we are going to see how to apply our finishes to our tutorial so stay tuned